Hello there, and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we'll be looking at higher order partial derivatives. Now, we've said something we said. If I'm given a function, let's say z has been equal to, or z in terms of um, u and, let's say z in terms of x and y, we said we can get something that looks like partial z over partial x. What I have here is called the first partial derivative of z with respect to x. Now, here's the concept. We can still get other higher derivatives. So that means from these two, I could still differentiate z here with respect to x again, such that I will now have the squared, partial squared z all over partial x squared. If I differentiate this again with respect to x, it becomes partial cube z all over partial x cube. Same thing works with y. So we are saying that for higher order partial derivatives, it comes in the form z to power n, uh, partial, to, partial to power n z all over perhaps either x or y, partial x to power n. All right? So if, the, if you see 3 here, it means find the third partial derivative of z with respect to x or with respect to y as the case may be. Let's take an example. So let's say I'm given z x y as being equal to 4x squared y plus y cube or x cube y to power 4 for instance minus x y Let's say I'm asked to find, okay, from here, I will have that partial z all over partial x. This means do it once, and that will be, if I differentiate x or x squared, if I differentiate x squared here, it gives me 2x. Differentiate x squared here gives you 2x. Use 2x to multiply this and this. That becomes 4 times 2x times y. That gives you 8xy plus come to this if i differentiate x cubed it gives you 3x squared use 3x squared to multiply y that gives you 3x squared y to the power 4 okay come to this i'm having minus differentiate x here gives you 1 1 times y gives you y so i have this all right so this is the value of dz over or partial z over partial x let's get the second um partial derivative so i'll now have that the squared z all over the x squared is equal to it means differentiate x again here what do i have here differentiate x here you have one eight times one times y gives you eight y okay plus Differentiate x squared here, it gives you 2x. 2x times 3 times y to the power 4. 3 times 2 is 6x, y to the power 4. And then there is no x here. So differentiating minus y gives you what there? 0 and it's off. That man is off. All right, let's do one more um, partial derivative. So partial to the power 3, z all over partial x part 3. What do I have here? This will be equal to, if I differentiate 8y, there's no x here. So it gives you what there? 0. So there's no x. It gives you 0. Differentiate x here, it gives you 1. 6 times 1 times y to the power 4 gives you 6y to the power 4. This becomes your answer. Okay, what if I try one more? Let's take one more. What if I now do, what if I now choose to do partial to power 4 z all over partial x to power 4 that would be equal to in this case now observe that there's no x here right to differentiate this one gives you what there zero and that's because there is no x term here so it gives you zero so this is how we solve this all right let's try this same thing for y let's take partial z all over partial y For here, what do you have? So focus on the y now, leave the x. Differentiate y here, you have 1. 1 times 4x squared gives you 
4x squared plus, come here, focus on the y, differentiate y to power 4, it gives you 4y to power 3, right? Differentiate y to power 4, you have 4y to power 3. Use this to multiply x, it gives you 4, then this x to power 3, then this y to power 3. So I'm done with that. Come to this one here, okay, minus, differentiate y here, it gives you 1, 1 times minus x is minus x. So this is partial z over partial y. Let's differentiate again. I'll have that partial z or partial squared, second time, partial squared z all over partial y squared. That will be equal to, there is no y term here. To differentiate this, gives you what there? 0 plus, come here, the y term is this. So differentiate y cube. It gives you what there? 3y squared. Use this to multiply this. 3 times 4 is 12 x cubed y squared minus, this is x, there's no y, so differentiate with respect to y, gives you what there? 0, and that minus off. Moving on, I have, or differentiating again with respect to y, I have that partial squared z all over partial, okay, cube, from square to cube, all over partial y cube is equal to, this one is off, so differentiate, okay, this is equal to, by the way, 12 x cube y squared. I have this. All right. Differentiate y squared here. It gives you 2y. Use this to multiply 2. 12 times 2 is 24. I have x cube. I have y. So you have this. All right. Differentiate one more time. d to the power 4z all over dy to the power 4 will be equal to Differentiate y here gives you what there? 1. 1 times 24x cubed gives you 24x cubed. So you have this one here. If you try one more time, I'll have that d5, d to the power 5z all over dy to the power 5 is equal to, there's no y term here. To differentiate this gives you what there? 0. All right. So this is how we do higher order partial derivative and this is how we solve this question.